Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I have a fun shaker interactive card to share with you. I'm going to be using the Turtley Awesome Sparkle Blend from Doodles Paper Playground. This is one of my favorites from the brand new release. There are so many cute little sequins in here and there's beach ball clay pieces and shells and those really fun holographic turtles. So I'm going to use that to inspire my card today. I'm grabbing some watercolor paper as well as some of my favorite Heffy Doodle go-to for shaker cards and that's the Fancy Nancy dies as well as my stitched circle dies. So I'm trying to find two dies that will help me create a frame and it will show up behind the hearts when I die cut my Fancy Nancy frame. Unfortunately I should have sized up one more and I will talk about it when I get there. So right now I am picking out some pattern paper. I know I want to have a pattern paper front of my card, so I'm gonna choose this blue striped. And then I'm also going to get some orange paper from this pack because of the orange sequins inside of the sparkle blend. I wanted to find something that would pop and kind of match what was already in my blend. So first up, I'm going to create my frame. So again, I should have used one more larger circle and you'll see why in a moment, but that's okay. I'm going to go with it and keep creating my card. And then for the blue, I want to cut it to match my A2 size. So it's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'll just grab my paper trimmer and trim that down. And then similar to how I created my orange uh, circle frame, I'm going to create the hole in this blue paper for my shaker using the Fancy Nancy and use some repositional tape to help keep that in place while I run it through the die cut. So I'm using my grid mat to get my uh, circle for my shaker as center as possible. And here are the two pieces. So here you can see how my orange is just slightly smaller than the tips of my hearts. And I was kind of bummed out, but I thought, you know what, we're going to go with it. It's okay. It's a handmade card, so it won't be perfect. I'm also going to die cut two circles using the largest circle from my frame and that will be used to help create my shaker card later. So next I'm going to work on my background and this is my Distress Oxide favorite combo right now for oceans. I'm starting with Salvage Patina on the top of my watercolor paper. Next I'm moving into Mermaid Lagoon which is a little bit more of a teal color. And then finally, the brand new Uncharted Mariner, which I think is perfect for deep sea ocean cards. So once I have my background all filled up with color, I'm going to grab my splatter box and I'm going to spray on some of my water from the Distress distress sprayer and then I'm going to grab a paper towel to pick up the extra ink after I've let it sit and oxidize a little while and then of course I like to add some splatter so I'm grabbing some of my white ink I will spray that with water as well and I have a very fine uh, paint brush to add that splatter to the background once I'm happy with how much splatter I have I'm just going to make sure it looks good behind my frame and now we can start building our shaker so first I'm going to adhere my acetate to the back of my orange frame. So I'm going to use some 1 8 of an inch tape to completely fill up the back of my frame. And then I will pull off all the release paper and then place it onto my first acetate circle. So this will be the top part of my shaker. And I'm going to use two acetate circles for this because I have to do a little bit of maneuvering to attach my uh, shaker to my background. But you'll see when we get there. So there I have the top of my shaker, the orange circle with my acetate, and now I'm going to grab some foam adhesive strips and I'm going to pull off the release paper and I'm going to uh, leave both edges ex exposed because, or both sides exposed because it's easier to maneuver my foam strip so they can curve nice and easily around my circle. Once that's all full, I'm going to grab my shaker, my sparkle blends for my shaker, and I'm just going to make sure everything is as flat as possible and then add just enough. I think I use about half my blend because I am very picky and I like to save my sparkle blends for as long as possible. But once I have enough in there, I take my second piece of acetate and sandwich my sparkle blends inside my shaker. 
So now that that is done, I have to center where I'm going to place it onto my background. Now originally, if I had a larger circle frame, I could just have glued this down to the uh, cover uh, pattern paper, but because there's not enough space to glue it down, I'm going to apply my double-sided adhesive to the back of my shaker, making sure to hide it behind my foam tape so it won't show when you look through the shaker. I'm centering it to my blue cardstock with the open circle on the front and then using some repositional tape to hold those in place while I glue the back side of my card. So I'm gluing that watercolored cardstock to the back and then I can peel off the front and there now my shaker is perfectly aligned for the front part of my card. So now I'm going to fill up the rest of my background with some foam adhesive. That's the same thickness as my shaker. And then I am going to adhere now the blue pattern paper to the front of my card. So once that is done, I'm going to grab my Alpha Better's die set, which is also from Heffy Doodle, has this really cute stitching on the letters. And then I'm going to die cut the word shallow or hello with shell shallow um, out of some of that orange um, uh, pattern paper as well. And then I picked a few stamps from the Oceans of Love stamp set from Heffy Doodle and stamped them in alcohol marker friendly ink and then colored them in with my Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers. There is a die set for the stamp set, you, so you can use that or fussy cut them out. So here you can see my shallow sentiment on top as well as my little uh, images on the bottom left there. Off camera I did kind of line up where I wanted everything to go. So now I can just use my tweezers and my wet glue to adhere everything down. So my first part of my sentiment is going to be on top of the shaker so that way it's kind of just adds a little bit fun element to my shaker having the sentiment exposed over it. And then I will glue on everything again, like I said, using my tweezers and wet glue. And here is where I originally planned to stop, but it just felt so kind of boring on the bottom. So I cut another piece of watercolor paper and I did the exact same process as I did for my background except I just use Uncharted Mariner and then I'm going to emboss a sentiment onto this piece using my Versamark and some fine white embossing powder and this strip is a half inch wide I guess or tall in this how I'm going to use it and I also cut a quarter inch strip of that same kind of orange polka dot pattern paper as the rest of my card. So now when I have this sentiment and that orange strip I'm going to add those to the front of my card and it will bring in more of that background of my shaker um, and just fill in the kind of emptiness that I felt this, the card had on the bottom. So I made sure to use my anti-static powder before embossing my sentiment and once it's cooled down I'm just going to grab a Swiffer cloth and clean off the extra um, anti-static powder. I also cut these to be four and a quarter wide so they'll match perfectly with the width of my card. So now that those two strips are done I'm just going to grab my wet glue and adhere these down again to fill in the bottom part of the card and also bring out more of that beautiful new Uncharted Mariner color and just tie in more with the shaker. Once those two strips are down that will complete my card front. I will attach this to a top folding card base um, off camera. So here you can see my final card. Give it a good shake. Look at how beautiful those sequins are. I hope you'll check out the Sparkle Blend. It's down below in my description uh, with all of my supplies. Here's one more final close-up of my card. I really love the blue and the orange um, coming out in my card, especially with those sparkle blends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like, and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!